I got asked to do a full day of eating from Guilt Free TV. How I hit all my daily dozen in a day. If you don't know the daily dozen, let's get to it. Here you can see the app. It's called Daily Dozen. It's a free app by Dr. Michael Krager, which you can download and keep track to eat out of all these groups and all the servings per day to really thrive on a whole food blend based diet. So for breakfast, we're making this creamy mango porridge with some dates. So let's make it and let's see what we can check off the list. Well, I already make it, but you will see it now. Mm. Oh, this is so good. With the juicy mango flavor throughout the porridge and then the juicy dates on top. Mm. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. Juicy mango porridge. And this time, because you asked, I filmed the re recipe. I'm, I'm doing it right now. Inception? Oh, what? All right, one portion I already ate, another one to go. One was my pre-workout meal. This one will be my post-workout meal. So I saved this for after my workout. Going to the gym now, but first let's see what we can check off. We can check whole grains, definitely two portions with the oats and the, uh, what is called, puff quinoa. Plus we can check fruits with the mango, one serving, and with the dates, another serving and <laughs> at least one serving of beverage. And because I already drank one of these badass big cups of tea, we can check another beverage too, because this one is one liter and I'm already sipping at my second cup, so beverages will be no problem. All right, that is looking good. Now I go to the gym, then eat this as my post-workout and then I see you for another meal. So we still have a lot of things to check, but that will be easy because lunch will be loaded with vegetables, but you will see it later. So first, let's get the exercise. Check. Back home from an amazing upper body session and now I enjoy my post-workout meal and I see you at my next meal and I am afraid that my biceps will get bigger than my head. Oh no! Mmm, if you just let it soak in for a couple of hours more, it's even more delicious. And now I want to sit down and work right here, but who captured MySpace? Kiwi. MySpace is dead. So, move. But you're so damn cute. Okay, well, I love you. Here, you can have my porridge. Just kidding. So, let's feed those vegan gains. We got a lot to cover, a lot of vegetables. Um, let's start cruciferous vegetables and when you click on the little uh, you can see the serving size and you can switch between metric and imperial here in Germany we use metric and you can see all the information and what type you see okay broccoli is a cruciferous vegetable so we <laughs> we will steam a whole head of broccoli so that is more than one serving but we want those healthy broccoli and it tastes delicious if we steam it. If you don't know what steaming is, you just take this steaming item you could buy at Ikea or most uh, shops or order it online. Put it in here in a pot with water and then it steams through the water steam. So that's steaming. So let's check all the daily dozens before I cook because I will mix it all together in a big bowl and then it's hard to recognize what was was. So let's start with checking off. We got the cruciferous vegetables. We put in a little bit of red cabbage. So let's 
uh, I'd say it's um, a green. So let's check one of the greens, but we will get them anyways in abundance. We take three fairly small carrots. So another other vegetables checked, then a couple of tomatoes, other vegetables. Then we get, because we're using so much broccoli, we cover another green. So technically we would have the vegetables uh, checked, but we don't stop there. We put in, I'd say a quarter of this beetroot. We will steam it as well. Then while I cook, I will eat some bell pepper raw because then you get the most health benefits when you eat your bell pepper raw, most of the vitamin C, for example. So we snack this while I snack it while I cook. Plus I also snack a couple of slices of sweet potato and yes, you can eat sweet potato raw. It tastes like a sweet carrot, super delicious. I love it. Our dog loves it and you should might, you might love it as well. So give it a try, try raw sweet potato. Then I cooked kidney beans three days ago. So I still have kidney beans left. So let's get our serving of beans in one serving here. Then when this is all steamed, we put some roasted chickpeas over it. So another serving of beans check and <laughs> let's go. This is so yum. Then we slice off the corn here. This is actually my favorite way to consume corn. It's super delicious. So another whole grain serving check. So we got our whole grains in for the day. Then we put in a little bit of ginger. Ginger, ginger, ginger. I don't know what it is on the daily dozen. It's spices, yes. Let's check spices, but not only ginger, but we will spice them with turmeric and black pepper, the craziest antioxidants, richest combination on the world. Probably, maybe one of them. Then this curry mix, it's just super delicious, salt free. Then oregano and garlic. I love garlic. I could eat just, sometimes I just cook whole grain pasta and put garlic over it and just love the garlic pasta flavor. And sometimes I even take fresh garlic and just slice it very thinly and just eat whole grain pasta with garlic. <laughs> but be careful with fresh garlic. Only eat it if you're a vegan savage because it tastes quite intense. But I just love the garlic flavor with some herbs. Speaking of herbs, I will put some of these parsley leaves over my meal as well. Would be maybe another serving of cruciferous vegetables, but they're already covered and spices are definitely covered. Move on, let's move on to the seeds. We put in a little bit of this mix of pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds and oh no, my crown flax seeds are empty. <laughs> but I ordered new crown flax seeds, two kilograms, so they will come tomorrow and then I just take four tablespoons of crown flax seeds. So I don't hit them today, but no worries. I just hit them tomorrow and then tomorrow even more of them. Then nuts, we check it with some walnuts. We sprinkle it over the salad. Plus I snack two Brazil nuts now to get my selenium in. Just like that. I see them more like a supplement to get my selenium in, but they're also so delicious. And don't worry if you don't eat them every day. I take two Brazil nuts almost every day. But if I miss a day or a couple of days, no worries because Two Brazil nuts are actually a little bit more than your daily needs. Then we will also squeeze a lemon over it to give it this fresh lemon flavor. Then half or whole avocado. I'll see how I feel, but half or whole and avocado. Uh, this is another fruit. So let's <laughs> check another fruit. So fruits are covered, but for dinner I will eat a fruit for sure. So I keep even. Then we sprinkle some nutritional yeast over it to give it this cheesy flavor as well. You should see. This bowl is full of vegetables, but it has so rich in flavor because of the nuts, of the nutritional yeast, of the herbs, of the spices, of the tomato sauce. Yes, I will put in some salt-free tomato sauce over it, then the seeds, and we will also steam wakame. It's in sea vegetables, sea vegetable, super rich in iodine. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like the ocean, but I like it. So I encourage you, develop a taste for sea vegetables and actually, this already covers my daily need. One to 1.5 gram of wakame covers my daily need. And how I do it, I just take a scissor and <clears throat> just like this. 
and then I steam it and then it becomes like this pasta texture. Tastes good to me. So I will steam now the veggies and I make a whole bowl out of it, which you will see soon. And as I said, while I eat this, I snack on sweet potato and on... It's so easy to get your daily dozen in if you eat delicious snacks while you cook like this raw sweet potato with corn on top. Mm. <laughs> Tanja? Hast du Leinsamen? Nee. So I don't get my flax seeds in today, but as I said, tomorrow and I will enjoy now this big bowl. And with the sauce, all the things I combined in there, they're so delicious. And these are all green light foods. I just love steamed broccoli. Mm. <laughs> and if you want to make your own big, healthy, delicious, vegetable bowl like this. You don't need a recipe, you don't need to follow exactly what I did because then, oh, I don't have this and it, did, it doesn't work out. Just, you know what I do, I buy just a lot of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, etc. I enjoy and try new one as well. And then I just freestyle all the time and then I find out, wow, lemon, tahini and nutritional yeast taste fantastic together and you just know what you like and then you just make these freestyle bowls and it doesn't matter if I have broccoli or sweet potato or cabbage or whatever I bought and still have. I just use it and freestyle it together so it gets so simple and oh no, I need grocery shopping, I need to blend everything. No, it's just buy healthy fruits, vegetables, legumes, whole grains, nuts, seeds and just combine them however you want and after a while you will find out what tastes great. Like this combination tastes freaking amazing but as I said, it doesn't matter if there's red cabbage or kidney beans. I could also take chickpeas and kale or other legumes and vegetables. It doesn't matter. Just combine it, make it easy and it starts with your shopping cart. It starts with what you buy and then ultimately what you have in your fridge and ultimately what you eat. So buy healthy whole foods and then just combine and make them delicious and that is the secret to thriving on plants and making it easy, affordable and fun. Because who likes strict recipes and this amount of that? No, listen to your body. After Oh, I just repeat myself, so I enjoy this now. See you later for dinner. Just came home from a nice walk with this little cutie and I did lots of steps on my treadmill desk. So the exercise is definitely checked. Now I went outside and it's still early spring here in Germany. So to get my vitamin D in, I need to supplement and B12 as well. So I have this cool little box where I have my B12 and vitamin D in and I just pop open Thursday because today is Thursday. So check that as well. Now we only have a few things still open and yeah, beverage, we can check all of them. I finished two more of these teas. By the way, this licorice tea is so good and so sweet. Licorice, mwah, I could drink this all day and I do. Now I feel like something sweet, so I make a little mousse with, in the food processor, frozen berries, soy milk, plain soy milk, then two organic bananas, one block of tofu, a couple of dates and plain cacao. The block of tofu definitely checks the last beans section, then the frozen berries, check the berries. And so we get everything covered besides flax seeds, which, will, which I will get tomorrow in. But you see, I <laughs> almost doubled the daily dozen list. If you're an athlete, if you burn a lot of calories, then it's so simple to cover it all. I basically doubled my fruits and vegetables. You see the bananas and by the way, uh, I didn't film it, but I snacked an apple, I snacked grapes, so more fruit. So I basically doubled the daily dozens and mostly do at least the uh, veggies and the uh, fruit. So it's super, super simple. Even though you don't eat so many calories, you can easily cover it by these meals. Just make the portion smaller. So let's try this combination. I've never tried it, but 
I'm sure it is tasty because as I said, I freestyle my meals. I just know what tastes good and I have no doubt that this combination tastes really good. Usually when I make some kinds of this mousse, I steam a sweet potato and then it just gets this super sweet and starchy texture. But plain tofu works just as well, I think. Let's find out. Let's give it a try. Nice color. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I just love her consistency like that. Oh, it's sweet and it's creamy. Mmm. And so healthy. <laughs> so I will enjoy this now and I really like this challenge. Checking off all the daily dozens and because I have this app, but I basically never use it. I just know in my head what I need and check off all the groups and but now it was nice to see that I actually easily checked them all besides flax seeds but I promise I will eat them tomorrow twice as much 20 tablespoons the one half no just kidding just you don't have to be so strict get them every day just look more about a weekly or even a monthly balance if you don't hit them all one day if you really eat poorly one day then just focus on the next day and if you eat less fruits on one day then just eat more fruits on the next day and if you don't eat more fruits on the next day then on the next day just on a weekly balance that you cover fruits vegetables legumes whole grains and the other servings and groups michael Crager mentions in his app so the app's a great guideline and i want you to do the same and at the end i have to challenge three other people and I will challenge my girlfriend Scorpion Mine. I know you can do it because she has never tried it as well so it will be fun to watch. Then I also challenge John Venus and Simnet Nutrition. I always have a hard time pronouncing his name Simnet and Simnet Nutrition. Anyways I link all the three channels down below they have great content so go check it out go right on the comments do the challenge do it and I hope this encourages you to see how easy it is to get, get Oh, I can't talk anymore to get those daily dozens in. Thanks for watching guys and I see you in the next video. Peace! Kiwi, did you hit your daily dozens today? What? You say I'm responsible? That's right, I have to be responsible that you hit your daily dozens. But for dogs, they're slightly different, but you are super healthy. I mean, look at you. Pigeon. Super. What are you doing? So now it's time to make food for kiwi, but this video is over, so bye!